Yeah, Modoc was terrible. I, I Modoc was funny because he looked terrible, not because he was actually funny. <laughs> like when I thought he was funny. Friends, okay, he did the one scene that he had that I thought was funny was when he was dying. And yeah. he was like, I'm an Avenger. And they're like, uh, yeah, <laughs> you're an Avenger. That was funny. I will that, say. Not only that one, the, the Darren part was funny, too, when, he, when they were like, Darren, Darren, Mordok, yeah? yeah. <laughs> you know, that was funny. <laughs> that was, that funny. was funny. I'll give you that. Those are the two jokes he had that were funny. Everything else I did not care about. But, like, him dying, um, his weird obsession with wanting to feel useless, because he is. He's a useless character. I think yeah, Yellow Jacket is one of the lamest villains yeah. in the MCU. He's, like, top three lamest villains. So I, I didn't like him coming back. And being further lame, but whatever. He looked um, lame. Look at that big ass head. That's the thing. Like, is it comic <laughs> accurate? Yeah, but it's also shitty. It shouldn't look this bad though. Like, it's Ooh. like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What the hell so, is- Modok was. Uh, I don't know a whole whole lot about Modok um, as far as the comics <laughs> and his, you know. I don't know anything. All I go off of all is pictures and some of the stuff I've seen that's comic book related. But um, just just from my personal experience, this just seemed like quite the hack job because I don't know what their <laughs> I I don't know like I don't know what they were trying to to do. Um, but I've seen what that character looks like. He has a very creepy kind of Frankensteinish. Yeah. Um, almost horrorish, depending on how you go with it. I've seen some different designs of his, and so yes, I understand it's hard to get past the fact that he's a floating head with these little, you know, extremities and stuff like that. But how he looks, even in that picture, and then the big reveal, I was like, oh no, I don't, I don't, no, 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 no. Like it was cool to see the Darren connection because you know that was a um, interesting part of the first film, but. Just looking at it now, I'm just this like, is a million oh. dollar. This is a uh, what a hundred, but two hundred million dollar budgeted film. This is what we got, and it, and it looked a mess. <laughs> this it is what we got. So, it was so distracting. Yeah, I was not here for that at all. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this this is what they gave us. Uh, yeah, it's come on. <laughs> yeah, come on. that's basically Seriously. it. <laughs> Y'all can't be you, you know, Kevin Feige. You can't be given the internet. Easy layups like this, you you can't right, right, you can't be giving them easy layups like that. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, uh, Ian, did you go on your negatives yet? I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let you go. Ian. Oh yeah, no, I got I definitely got some negatives. I, I love the movie, but uh, yeah, I got some negatives. And well, I'll definitely talk about Moda. Yeah, I definitely agree. Everything was said. The comparisons definitely exactly what I would have said the same thing. Um, I did, however, like that they did bring make it. They changed the to Darren. I thought that was cool. I thought you know they're down there. It's an easy way to explain why his head's like that. But no, nah, the look like it just shows they're not paying those people enough. Like when we saw yeah, 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 when we saw yeah. Thor: Love and Thunder, we had this floating head. What the fuck was that? Like, <laughs> yeah. like it seemed. I feel like we. I mean, we we are in the internet. We do YouTube stuff. I feel like we could have did a better job than that. Talking about the the Thor: Love and Thunder scene. This is just the floating head. Yeah, Heindel's son. That was probably the worst scene in Marvel history. Now, with that being that said, rough. this Modok CGI right here might be second. Oh God, it yeah, might be it's second. Fresh. Yeah, it's. It's terrible. Like, I love, and I, I'm a big fan of movies, and I'm a big fan of continuity, as the brother was saying. But like, I hate being taken out of the movie. The bad CGI had me taken out of the movie, and every time Modok was on screen, I was taken out of the movie. Like, I would just like, what? Why? Why? Yeah. And I'm not the biggest Modok fan either. I don't really care. I, every, even in the comics or the TV shows, I'm laughing because of like somebody got high and made this. It, it has to be <laughs> what it was in the beginning. But even as 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 weird it is in you know the comics and stuff like that, I think they could have did better, like in the movie. Um, yeah. But I, like I said, I think it has some. They're not paying these people enough. Modoc was ass. Um, yeah, Crit, you said the thing with the ants. No, it was it was Ian that said I didn't like the ant. That was that was some of the laziest <clears throat> fuckery towards the end of the movie. But it was like, well, these ants that we had went through another time hole and then they are a thousand years old and they got all this convenient ass technology we could use to save the day. I was like, all right, really? <laughs> this is what we doing? And I then they go come in with the cavalry and shit to, to fight no bad. I was like, all right, I get it. It's ants, Ant-Man, sure. But I, but I, I was, that was going to happen though. 
I, yeah. I mean, when, when the ants got, got uh, sucked down with them. Yeah, when it got sucked down, I was like, the ants yeah. going to be part of it. I didn't expect I, them yeah. to go through a time hole and age a thousand uh, millions of years and come back with some new technology to pull out their ass to save the day. I didn't see that coming. What the fuck was I was like, come on. What did you expect the ants to do? Of course, that's what they do. They, they I thought they would build technology. something. Yeah, but not like, oh, they got conveniently, they got better technology than Kang or some fuck shit. Like, I was not expecting that. was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> But it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a movie. They got to do something to say today. It is what it is. Um, the ending, I will say, not the ending with Kang losing, but the ending, like literally the ending when he's like, you know, like, oh shit, did we fuck up? And he's like eating the cake and then it just ends. That was very flat. I thought that was like one of the flattest endings to a, not just a movie, but an MCU movie where it was just like, and cut the black. And I'm like, wait, is that is that it? Like, I thought it was going to be something else after that. And it just ended. I was like, oh, no, they, okay. They, they went just... to dinner. Yeah, they went to dinner. And then, like, <laughs> yeah, he ate you the know, cake. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Here he is. Yeah, exactly. That's why I said unexplained. Was, yeah, he was right there with me. He was sitting right there beside me when we saw the movie. It was like, well, we was like, that's yeah, the it end. seemed like, like they ain't know how to end the movie. They're like, right. Oh, they accept King and things are back to normal. What do we do? Yeah, like, <laughs> that was so, like, flat. But, um, Dang. Okay, so let's let's. I mean, it's not terrible, not not a terrible, but just, just so questions. So, what are your? I, I did, I, go ahead. No, I was about to say, I really did think that King or another King was going to come down and attack when he was walking down the street. I, I did think that. Oh that yeah, see, I dope. thought I thought he was going to be like like some Inception shit where he thought he got out of the time loop, but he actually right. didn't get saved. That's what I thought oh, was going to happen. Oh, but he was yeah, actually yeah. still stuck in the quantum realm, and King played him. That's what I thought was going to happen. Look at the writer in you. <laughs> I, my friend was sitting beside me thought the same thing. He was getting he was getting excited. He's like, oh oh, and then this ended. I was like, oh, well, I just guess that's it. Like, the movie's over. I'm like, oh, that would have been fuck? funny if Kang was their waiter. That would have been. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. That would have been funny. That would have been fucking dope. And you yeah. look up and it's like, oh, Kang, and then, and then and Scott and then Scott's like, wait, what's happening? And then you realize he's like paralyzed or some shit, and he's still stuck in the quantum realm. Like that would have been dope yeah, as shit. Crazy. Wait, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. The Loki thing I thought was cool because you know Loki season two is coming out. The Frederick Douglass was. How are y'all feeling about the Frederick Douglass wig? Are y'all feeling that or <laughs> y'all, how y'all felt about that? I thought that was cool. Yeah, it was fine, was. right? It was, it was up the time, you know. It was up the time, yeah. so we'll see what we do. You know, only that. black men uh, in that room. I'm surprised. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I said, <laughs> and I said the same goddamn thing. I said, look, we know this is fantasy because it wouldn't. This, this nigga's talking people. about magic. <laughs> exactly right. Exactly. Like that was the only thing that was like, all right, all right, Disney. But other than that, it was like, okay, <laughs> King, uh, King's coming. Another different variant in uh, Loki season two, but um, and that's kind of a problem. For now with the MCU is like we have an okay movie and then we gotta wait for the post credit scene to actually be something interesting. I'm getting tired of that. I really am. Like, can we just get like a solid movie and then a good post credit? It's either we're gonna have an okay movie and a really good post credit, or it's gonna be a really good movie and a, like a waste of a post credit, or we'll get neither. And I'm like, I can we just, I need a balance, you know. I need I need more of a balance, you know. Hey, what you say, what you say I'm sorry, go ahead. What do you say, Cuba? I said you get neither than the whole movie is shit. It, it, it happened. Hey, uh, Black <laughs> Widow. Anyway, um, how y'all feeling about Phase Five so far? You think this is a solid start to Phase Five, a mid start, a good start? Like, how y'all feeling? I'm gonna start with uh, uh, Ian. I'm gonna start with you. My question: What was the first movie in Phase Four? Black was Widow. it Black Widow? I would say it's a better start better than start? Phase Four. Yeah, if that's if that. we if we comparing both, like, what you disagree, but like if we comparing. The two movies that started each phase, mm -hmm. I would say this is a better one. It's not the best start. It's not right, Iron right, Man right. one. So, but that. you know, but I, I get, get it. That. Look at that. Uh, D. Rocky start, good start, bad start to phase five. Um, I think it's a tolerable start. Um, because that was the same way I felt about Black Widow. Actually, I thought Black Widow was going to be a mess, so maybe that's why I was a little higher on it. And and I think. What I appreciated the most was the tone. There was certain aspects of it that were a lot more, a lot grittier and more serious than I thought it was going to be, compared yeah. to some other films after it that I ended up seeing. And the same thing with this. Like Kang, like I said, when Kang was on screen and, and the energy and the, the vibe that he brought when he was on was one thing, but then they tried to kind of tie in this whole very, um, like I said, Disney Channel esque. Um, teen family friendly which nothing's wrong with that but it's just the way that they executed it so it was just kind of a, a right uh, 
just a middling experience for me. Nothing that I hated, but um, I'm, it does make me curious, same with Black Widow at the time. Like, where do we go from here? And can we, um, how can we kind of develop a consistent or a fluid connection all the way to Kang Dynasty? That That's what I'm most interested in. Okay. Uh, Crip Cow, how you feeling about Phase 5? Phase 5 so far, you you know. I think I think it's a pretty good start. Um, like Ian said, like Black Widow, that started phase four. Then I think the next one was Shang Chi. Um, Shang Chi was cool, yeah. you know I what I mean? Shang-Chi. But I, I wasn't a super fan of Shang Chi. Mm-hmm. Then you had Eternals, and then I think I didn't really get into phase four until like Spider Man came out. So right. I, I think this right here is a pretty decent start, and I think it's gonna go up from this point on. I mean, we're gonna get a chance to. I mean, I think Guardians, I think that's Guardians never failed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? James Gunn hasn't failed yet, you know, in my book. Right. So um, my book too. So, yeah. Too. So I think I think after Guardians, I think we're gonna get a lot of uh Kang after that and just uh multiple storylines and complex storylines. So I think I think we're good to go. Okay, okay. Uh Cuba, how you feeling? This a good start to phase five or a bad start to phase y'all, five? Y'all, I guess it's a, it's somewhat in the middle. Okay. I mean, I, I was just, I was just saying you were paying attention. That's all. I was just saying you were paying attention. <laughs> Modokus. Yeah. That's CG. Modokus they need stores. to pay their people, or, or Kang Dynasty is gonna suck, man. Yeah. That's true. They need to that pay their true. CGI people. Yeah, I, I think I think Mordok is still alive. What the hell is that? Is she, he, he should be dead. Like I don't. Like I said, I don't need this character to come back. Like, nah. you know, did, did no. you see the uh the flat line on his uh? Yeah, I, think I saw that detail. Beeping. It yeah. was like red, but it was still kind of. No. More Modoc, baby. No. So George, please, so what, no. So George Lopez was a uh, Modoc too? Why, why is George Basic, yeah. No, that's what no, he looked like. Because that's what he looked like from uh, Shockboy yeah. and Lava Girl. Oh, that's my God. <laughs> and it's true. It's so true. I mean, even though this was a, this was inspired by Modoc, but it's like when the inspiration looks better than the actual, you know, million dollar budget, $200 million budget film, that's a problem. That's a problem. I'm just saying. That's 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 a problem. Yeah, uh, they didn't know that. No. Yeah, they didn't do that one well. Uh, so we're looking forward to phase five. I think. I think. Well, the good thing, Kevin Feige did say they're going to spread out some of the um the releases, which I think yeah. is actually pretty good because yeah, they just it, moved the Marvels. Yeah, they moved them up. Which I, some people's upset. I think that is perfect. If you need to get that movie together, take your fucking time. Exactly. Get it together. Hey, it's Brogan Eye. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this clip, check out this one on your screen, and I'll see you in the next one.